Yes. It seems to me that what we have here some very extenuating circumstances all the way around. Now, what we got here are two mouths I am going to shut. Now, let me see that. It's with the fortune. That's all we need. Let's get out of here. Deke! Wait a minute. What did you put on that? No powder marks, no indentations. We didn't even hear it. Here, here. All right, how'd you do that? Uh, uh, we didn't have the combination, so, uh, we winged it. Oh, you winged it, eh? Hey, you think of what I am? The other job. Now, I could kill you and leave you for the morning cleanup, you know, and, uh, like no one would be the wiser. But, uh, you have thought of an alternative. Yeah, you play ball with me on another job. Now, you keep your noses clean and you do what you're told and, uh, you know, there might even be something in it for you. Well, it sure sounds better than the other alternative. Uh, my thoughts exactly, Matthew. Good deal. Okay. All right, now both of you. Turn around, put your hand on the boxes and press. See, on this job, I want your fingerprints. Who the hell are they? He's Shepard, that's Stark. So big deal. I've seen their work, it's okay. We need them. All right, now things are gonna happen fast around here. You do what I tell you and I'll make you rich. You don't, you're not gonna care. Now you two, over here. Come on. Hey, hey. Now listen up, you go nowhere, you call no one. They don't move, right? No way. So why Moore's in Washington until tomorrow? Yeah, it wouldn't make any difference even if he was in town. Yeah, I guess. You know, Walt, it's not going to be easy explaining our fingerprints on a bank job to Wymore's government friends. They don't even know we exist. You know, I wish I know what this job is that Deke had in mind for us. We're gonna have to play along. At least until we reach Wymore. But it was his idea. Let him bail us out. Matt, can we talk? Well, you said it. I said what? You said, let's play along. Time to go play. Okay, but she sounds serious. Song. Yeah, it's nice. Me too. Makes me really sentimental. What was your first bank job? Uh, just a little one, nothing really worth talking about. It'd be a lot more interesting to talk about the bank job we're about to pull off together. Hey. That was really sweet. You said to Yeah, well, uh, tell me about it. What? The job. Wait.
Yeah, you got it. I'll be there. You got what you need? I'll know when I see it. Be some place we can reach you? Yeah, do lease. Matthew. What's a Dooley's? Well, it doesn't sound like a church or a Boy Scout camp. Well, that's where Deke's headed. Well, if you keep an eye on my body, I'll keep an eye on Deke. That's a deal. You should be extra careful. Of course. I was talking to him. Well, he's sleeping. So I wake him up. What's the matter with him? He, he took a sleeping pill. He may as well be talking to that wall. What did he do that for? Well, he uh, said he wanted to be well rested for his next date with you. Judge, take a break. This had better be good, Deke. I had to cancel appointments. Yeah, I missed you too. I need a layout. Yeah, which bank? No bank. I want Frank Lund's place. Lund? Yeah. And I hear you got it. Did you hear you can't afford it? How's a piece of ten million dollars sound? Go on. The Umburo heist, you get 10%. <laughs> the Umburo diamonds? Sure. All right. Say I give you the layout, complete. And say you even find the diamonds, which I doubt. What's the guarantee I'll ever see 10%? Use your insurance. Till I pull the job and bring you your cut. You got a deal. Uh -uh. First, the Lund layout. Where? Cliff's place. You'll have it by noon. Yeah, no later. Maybe even earlier. Listen. Hey, buddy, where'd you come from? So answer the man. Uh, I followed you here, Deke. I thought you might need some protection. Uh, look, I was right. Look at this neighborhood you're in. Get in the car. Who let him out? There is no way out. We've been sitting here all morning. Deke, he was asleep back there. His partner. 